Let's begin by creating a new Next.js application. We'll use the CLI MPX tool for Create Next App. We'll use the latest version and we'll give it a name of One Week GraphQL. We'll also pass the flag TS so we can use TypeScript within our project and we'll also use NPM. If this is the first time you've used the Create Next app with MPX, you may need to install it. Now we've successfully created a new Next.js application with TypeScript and NPM, now let's move into that folder using the CD command. If we have a look at all the files here, you see that we have a readme, we have our node modules, and we have our pages directory, a TS config, and many other files that Next.js has created for us using the CLI tool. Now let's go ahead and open this inside of our code editor. I'm using VS Code and I have a terminal command here that automatically opens the current directory inside of VS Code. There's a few things inside of our project that we don't really need at this point. We have a index page here that we can clean up. Let's go ahead and remove these imports here and then we'll remove everything inside of our components and we'll just return some simple hello world inside of a h1 tag. Now that we have this, let's move to the app.tsx file. At this point, we'll remove the import for our global CSS. We won't be using any of the CSS modules that are automatically included for us in this project. So for now, let's go ahead and remove the styles folder. Next, you can see that we have a hello.ts file inside of our API folder. This is a Next.js API route where you can learn more on their documentation about how these work. But don't worry, we'll be building our own GraphQL endpoint using API routes, so you'll learn all about that. Next, let's create a folder inside of the root of our project and we'll call this components. This is where we'll store all of the components that we create for our front end later on in this video series.